Hello, welcome to a hidden gem video. Um, I got this magazine in recently. Um, you know, it's a decent copy. I paid something like ten dollar shipping included. It's a nice copy. Uh, just have a little foxing. Okay, a little bit. Not a big deal, but the rest of the book is super sharp. I was surprised at how beautiful the work is. You know, I. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of Big John, Oshima, but this book is ink by, let me show you, Tony, I can never say the name, last name, so let me not butcher it, okay, uh, Tony Zuniga. I'm familiar with uh, Tony's inking work over the years, but for this particular book, I think he did something maybe different than his normal style of inking. The outlines of the drawings are ink heavier than normal, in my opinion. You know, for those that are familiar with Tony's inking style, let me know what you think. But look, look at how beautiful this look. Like I said, the lines are heavier, okay, there's more weight to the inking lines on the, you know, on the figures and I think it just turned out beautifully it works for me and I wish uh, he did more of that let's look at this probably uh, easier and more visible is right here look at the lines that he used on the edge of the head Okay, like I said, panels to panels, like I said, the lines are heavier. Maybe he was experimenting with the, his inking style. But it looked gorgeous. Just look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so there you go again, as you can see, really heavy lines, thick lines, and it works from panels to panels. It just, it adds weight to the drawings. You know, if for those that remember my video on uh, spotlighting Rudy Nebre, the same thing. When Rudy Ink John Bushima, it turned into a heck of a masterpiece in my opinion and same here you have just beautiful work by Tony on the inking job just look at the action here So much eye candy from Big John. Over the past um, three or four years, I certainly have buy a lot more magazines than in the previous 30 plus years of collecting and 
I found hidden gems in so many of these magazines because it just I just love the black and white format and this is just another one of many many gems just look at the line works there This is a full, full uh, story, okay? This, unlike many magazines that, you know, cover in three or four short story, you get the full meal here. This is not a snack. Check this out. Check this full page. Goodness. Just look at how beautiful and tight the inking is. I said this I just absolutely love the heavier lines on all around everywhere you know it's just it's more pronounced when you look at the face and close-up uh, panels but overall I think uh, after I after I um, went through this book I wish Tony adopt this inking style throughout his career because I think it just look absolutely gorgeous Not bad, huh? Well worth the ten dollar for sure. Just look at this another full page beauty. Goodness.
Look like my camera is giving me the flashing signal that I only have two more minutes of video time, so I think I had to f hopefully finish up in a timely manner. Like I said, you get a full meal with this magazine, okay? Great, great find. I'm extremely happy to spend the money to buy this magazine because I didn't know what I was going to get. A pleasant surprise for sure. A gem. I don't think this run um, lasts very long. I haven't checked to see how many issues there was in this run and whether John Bashima drew all of them because if he did, for sure I will be buying the rest because this is just too good, too good to miss out. Near the end here. Sorry, folks, for rushing through the last few pages. But that is it. And as you can see, the rest of the book are just articles on the TV shows or movie, whatever that was. Anyhow, and that's it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video and this magazine go out there and buy it if you enjoyed the art okay thanks for watching bye